Okay, everybody, today we are looking at using the distributive property to help us multiply a two-digit number by a one-digit number. And to do that, you can break apart the two-digit number. So here, if we were multiplying 5 times 14, we can take our two-digit number of 14 and we break it apart into the tens place plus the ones place. So 10 plus 4. Y'all see that? Y'all see how 10 plus 4 equals 14? Okay. Now we're going to multiply both 10 and 4 times 5. So we take the 5 that came from the original problem, and we multiply both 10 times 5 and 4 times 5. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 4 is 20. Then you add those products together to find the total answer. Um, the reason why we do distributive property and the reason why I would like for you guys to get comfortable with the distributive property is this can help you mentally multiply larger numbers if you can use the distributive property. Um, we can also use an area model to help us. When we use an area model, we are literally drawing a rectangle that has the dimensions of the problem. So our problem is 7 times 16. So I'm going to need one side of my rectangle to be 7 units long. And I'm going to need the other side of the rectangle to be 16 units long. Now what they did here was they broke apart 16 because it is the two-digit number in the problem. They broke it apart into its place values, 10 plus 6. So it's like expanded form. Okay? Y'all got the 10? Y'all see where the 10 plus 6 is coming from? Okay. So we're breaking the 10. I mean, the 16 apart is 10 plus 6. And here you can see it represented in two different shades of gray. 10 and 6. So what we do now is we multiply 7 times 10. What is 7 times 10? 70. And then we multiply 7 times 6. What is 7 times 6? 42. Then we add 70 plus 42 together to get our final product. Yes. Breaking apart the bigger number and multiplying both parts. By the smaller one. So I'm recording this lesson, so let's make sure that um, everything that we're discussing is going to be beneficial to everybody, including the people who might be watching it at home. All right, so let's take a look here at this area model. 4 times 13. So what this means is that I need a rectangle that is 4 units long. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units. 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's got to be 13 units long. How can I break apart 13? Good job. 10 plus 3. So this is the same thing as saying 4 times 10 plus Three. So I'm going to have one section of my rectangle that's 10 units and one section of the rectangle that's three units. Okay, thank you, Matthew. I realize it's 13. Yes. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're doing the distributive property. The distributive property. I know that might be hard to understand, but that's why I'm trying to break it down for you guys. So we're taking the 13 with the distributive property, and we're breaking it down into 10 plus 3. So yes, it is a total of 13 because 10 plus 3 does equal 13. Okay, but you're being very 
defiant, disruptive, and disrespectful right now. And I'm trying to make this as obvious to understand as possible. But you talking over me, talking under your breath, having all this conversation back there with whomever is not helpful. So, 10 units long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then three more units long. And how wide is this? Four. Good. So I need to make sure one, two, three, four. I need to make sure I fill in all four of these all the way down. That's one area. And then the other area here all the way down. All right. So what is... 4 times 10. In other words, how many squares are in here? 40. Good. 40. Right there. And then how many squares are going to be in here? In other words, 3 times 4? 12. 12. So now, I can simply add 40 plus 12 to get 52. And you're still talking under your breath. I've already told you. That's disrespectful. You might not know that. You might not feel like it is, but I feel like it's disrespectful. Okay? So I'm just letting you know. All right. So let's look at 6 plus 17. 17. How would we break apart 17? Good. 10 plus 7. So one section of my rectangle needs to be 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the other section needs to be 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then it needs to be 6 units wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Shade all that in here. I'm going to shade all this one here. What is 6 times 10? What is 6 times 7? 42. What is 60 plus 42? 102. 102. You may see some problems like, well, no, I think they're all going to be distributed, I mean, um, area models today. So, today when you do your practice, you're going to be breaking apart your, your um, two-digit number. You're going to be drawing your area models and shading them in, and you might also be matching area models to the problem. All right, so please um, log into your Google Classroom. I am going to get your class work linked there. And you will be working with the distributive property today.